गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर और स्पेशली आई विल टॉक अबाउट सम जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिजम्स और ट्रांसजेनिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स और सिंपली आई हैव टू से दैट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट्स विच आर पेस्ट रजिस्टेंस एज वेल एज डिजीज रजिस्टेंस तो स्टूडेंट्स आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट द प्लांट्स और द बैक्टीरिया और द फंगस और द एनिमल्स हु जीन्स हैव बीन अल्टर्ड बाई मैनिपुलेशन मीन्स इफ इन सम प्लांट और सम फंगस और इन सम बैक्टीरिया और इन सम एनिमल वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस वन पर्टिकुलर जीन विच इज ऑफ आवर इंटरेस्ट मीन्स इन इट्स नेचुरल जीनो वी आर मेकिंग सम अल्ट्रेशन मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू मॉडिफाई द नेचुरल जीनोम और नेचुरल डी एन ए ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म दैन दैट पर्टिकुलर अल्टर्ड ऑर्गेनिज्म इन विच वी हैव मैनिपुलेटेड जीन इट कैन बी रिफर्ड एज जेनेटिकली मोडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड दीज जेनेटिकली मोडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ट्रांसजेनिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स टू एज दे कंटेन एंड एक्सप्रेस वन और मोर फॉरन जीन बिकॉज डेफिनेटली If we are going to insert a foreign gene or a altered gene, I have to say that we are going to select one foreign gene or one. Uh, we have to say that alien alien gene, and we are going to insert in in a certain bacteria or certain plant or certain animal. Then that particular organism will be will behave like uh, some different kind of organism. Means it has our it has a gene of our interest so it will be referred as either the transgenic animal or transgenic organism or genetically modified organism and their genes will be called as transgenes because those genes which are alien these will be referred as transgene and uh, these genetically modified plants uh, basically i am talking about uh, the biotechnology in the field of agriculture so i am talking about uh, genetically modified plants and these are very useful in in different ways ठीक है जेनेटिक मोडिफिकेशन हैज़ डन इन द फील्ड ऑफ द एग्रीकल्चर फॉर फॉलोइंग पर्पस ठीक है नाउ व्हाट आर दीज आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट वाइल वी आर यूजिंग बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर देन आफ्टर इट द क्रॉप्स विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड दीज क्रॉप्स विल बिकम मोर टॉलरेंट टू द एबायोटिक स्ट्रेस लाइक कोल्ड ड्रॉट सॉल्ट एंड हीट मीन्स जनरली द क्रॉप्स ठीक है विच वी आर कल्टिवेटिंग uh should so might not be possible that uh, they have tolerance against the cold temperature or some other abiotic factors if we are producing a crop with the help of uh, biotechnology so it we can produce it uh, or it will be tolerant uh, against the heat temperature salt or cold okay now uh, except it uh, we can uh, reduce the dependency of the chemical pesticide because after green revolution as i mentioned earlier that uh, uh we were de completely dependent on the chemical pesticide to eradicate uh, pest uh, but uh, while we are going for the biotechnology we are producing such kind of crops which are already pest resistant means we are providing them resistivity against pest except it uh, it also helps in the post harvest loss because in, in india uh, uh, it is the matter of great concern that uh, most of the crops are going to be destroyed after the harvesting while we are going to store them so uh, with the help of the biotechnology we can reduce the post harvesting loss of crops too okay except it efficiency of mineral uses uh, in plants preventing early exhaustion of the fertility of the soil means what happens actually the crops are uh, exhausting or crops are utilizing most of the nutrient from the soil but they are not performing well means they are not producing a greater yield so if we are producing such kind of crops which are uh, judiciously using minerals from the soil and uh, not, do not destroying uh, the fertility of the soil as well as giving good production so why not we are going to use such kind of crops okay except it uh, we are uh, producing such crops which are which are uh, very good in producing or which are enrich in producing uh, nutrients like vitamin a we are producing a kind of rice which is very rich in production of vitamin a and the exam in competitive examination it comes uh, the, the name of that particular rice is golden rice and golden rice is very good or very rich in vitamin a theek okay? hai 
other than the above mentioned uses the genetical modification can uh, also used to create uh, tailor made plants to supply alternative resources to the industries in form of the starch fuels and pharmaceuticals so we are producing tailor made crops means we are producing such kind of plants which have only our desirable characters so uh finally while we are going to cultivate these crops so we will get uh, the crops which are tailor made means they these crops will show only those characters which are of our interest uh, and uh, uh, mostly i am talking about uh, here right now i am talking about the some bio pesticides means uh, some kind of plants which are automatically have resistance against pests means uh, generally we have to use pesticide or certain chemicals to reduce uh chemical loss or um, as we know that these chemicals are polluting our environment too so if you want to reduce the uh, use of these pesticide so we can go for the bio pesticide and we can produce such kind of crops uh, an application of the biotechnology in agriculture is the production of the pest resistant plants which could decrease the amount of the pesticide being used so simply while we are going for the biotechnology so we are using or we are cultivating such kind of plants which are already resistivity which have already resistivity against the pest and we should not have uh, go for the pesticide means it will reduce the dependency on the pesticides okay for example i am giving you an example bt toxin bt toxin bt toxin is a kind of uh, bt toxin uh, uh, is a kind of toxic substance which is called which is produced by a bacteria called bacillus thuringiensis bt toxin gene has been cloned from the bacteria and uh, been expressed in plants to provide resistance to the insects without the need for the insecticides uh, and uh, these pesticides are uh, these um, bio pesticides are known named as bt cotton or bt corn so i am giving you an example the example is of uh, a bacteria as the, and the name of the bacteria is bacillus thuringiensis and bacillus thuringiensis is a bacteria which produces a special kind of toxic substance which is called as um, biotoxin okay and this toxin material has a property that while it reaches into the gut of uh, or gut or the elementary canal of a pest so it uh, causes perforation or uh, and the death of the that particular pest so what we have done we have all our um, uh, biotechnologist or the scientist uh, just isolated this gene which is produced in uh, bacillus thuringiensis and they introduced um, this gene into the plants and uh, since having this gene these plants are also producing this bt toxin material and while the pests are uh, harming the plant or they are sucking the sap of that particular plant this gene is also going to introduce in their elementary canal and it's producing such kind of toxic material and this toxic material is going to kill these particular pest or insects so uh, it's a very good uh, example of a bio pesticide okay nowadays we have various varieties of the cotton corn rice tomato etc etc so we have some varieties of bt cotton we have some varieties of bt corn here b for bacillus and t for thuringiensis okay now initially i am talking about uh, bt cotton bt cotton is created by using some strains of the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis okay and this bacteria produces a protein that kills certain insects such as lepidopterian tobacco budworm army worm coleopterans like beetles diopterans like flies and mosquito means this uh, toxic material which is produced by bacillus thuringiensis okay is used to kill some of the insects insect which kind of insects because uh, lepidopterian is a kind of insect okay like tobacco budworm army worm coleopterian like beetles and diopterian like flies and mosquitoes now bacillus thuringiensis forms the protein crystals during a particular phase of their growth and the, these crystal contain contain a insecticidal protein and this protein does perforation in the elementary canal uh, now one question i have you can ask that sir while we are using these um, um, crops so it can damage our elementary canal too but it doesn't happens the reason behind it i am telling you that uh, because uh, this Uh, toxic substance becomes active only in the alkaline ph okay so while the ph 
gets alkaline then these are only activated and they, these are going to destroy the elementary canal of the stomach okay now uh, i am going to tell you that uh, which kind of gene is uh, responsible for production of these uh, proteins so i am telling you that uh, there are uh, three different genes okay cry these are called as cry genes and uh, there are different types of cry genes like cry first ac and cry first second ab are used to control कॉटन बॉल वॉम कॉटन का जो बॉल होता है उसके वॉम उसको नुकसान पहुंचाता है तो उसको किल करने के लिए इसका यूज़ होता है क्राई फर्स्ट ए सी एंड क्राई सेकेंड ए बी क्राई फर्स्ट ए बी ऑल्सो कंट्रोल्स द कॉर्न बोरर यानी कॉर्न के जो प्लांट होता है उसमें जो इस टाइम में बोर कर देता है तो उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने का काम करता है क्राई थर्ड ए बी कंट्रोल्स द कोलारेडो पोटेटो बीटल्स एंड क्राई थर्ड बी बी कंट्रोल्स द रॉट वोम ठीक है यू हैव मस्ट हैव टू रिमेंबर दीज थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्राई जीन्स and then you will be able to express or explain each and everything i hope so you understood today's concept tomorrow once again i will i will meet you till then thank you bye bye and have a nice day